figures. And so composite figures, they're made up of maybe more than just one shape. So that's what a composite figure is. <coughs> so that's what this was looking for up here. So a composite figure, it's a figure that can be separated into more than just one shape. Okay, and these problems, we're going to either find the area of the composite region um, by figuring out what the different shapes are, finding all their separate areas and adding them up, or we may have a shaded region, and sometimes when we have a shaded region, we do subtracting. So it just depends. So like when you look at number one, I could do this a couple of different ways, but the way I was thinking was I could split it into this rectangle right here, this rectangle right here, and this rectangle right here. But you know, you could split it up into this rectangle, this rectangle, and this rectangle. You have a lot of choices, but I'm just gonna focus on this one, this one, and this one. So I'm going to call this one, let's find area of the first figure, area of the second, area of the third. Once I know the areas of each of those, what would I do? Yeah, but once I found the three areas, thank you. Once I found the three areas, what would I do with those three area answers? I'd add them up. So that's my goal. I want to find the area of figure one, add it to the area of figure two, and add it to the area of figure three. So in all these problems, I'm going to kind of write down what my game plan is, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so what shape do we have going on for figure one? A rectangle. And how do we find area of a rectangle? Base times height. Base times height. They're length times width. So what do you get if you take 7 times 12? 84. Okay, and then I'm going to add that to the area of figure 2. Okay, so here is figure 2. How long is it this way? Six. 3. How about this way? Why do you say 7? Good. This whole length is 12, and I know that from here to here it's 5, so that means from here to here that that must be a 7. Okay, so if you know that's 7, then what's the area of this rectangle? 21. Okay, and then I'm going to add that to the area of figure 3. And what's the length and the width for this rectangle? 1 and 9. And so length times width would give me 9. Okay, what do you get if you add all those up? Um, 154. Is it? It should be. Uh, yeah, I did it a different way. I don't know why. 114. 114. What? Oh, 114. When you say you did it a different way, what way did you do it? I did the first square seven times five. Okay. That's thirty-five. Okay. And then you do uh, the other one, which is what this okay, one? I, I did times three. So I did that Wait. Yeah, because you do that's seven. You got it wrong. Bro. Plus three equals ten times. You do ten times seven, right? They're not ten times seven. Yeah, this one? Yeah, except for take away the 9 and the 1. Never mind. I did it well, I, I know if I do this one here that this whole length is 11, and um, this yeah. length is 7, so it should have been 11 times 7, which would be 77. Yeah, for some, how did I get 1? Okay, yeah, you Okay, number two. This one has shading, so I have a, def a couple different things going on. First of all, what shape is this? It's okay, it's in my circle. So I'm going to find the area of a circle and like divide by two. And then this right here is a rectangle, but if I found the area of all this rectangle, would that be too much shading? Yes. So then I'd have to do what once I found the area of this triangle? Mm -hmm, but. I'd have to subtract it. Okay, so this is my overall game plan. I'm going to find the area of the half circle. I'm going to add that to the area of the rectangle. And then because that rectangle involves too much shading, since the triangle isn't shaded, I'm going to have to find the area of the triangle and subtract it. Does the game plan make sense? Find the area of the half circle, the rectangle, but then that's going to be too much shading, so I'll have to find the area of the triangle and subtract. Yeah. Okay, so let's focus on the circle. Um, what's your formula for area of a circle? <coughs> Pi r squared. I'm just going to write down the formulas for a little bit, and I'm going to find only half of that because it's just half of a circle. What's your formula for area of a rectangle? 
Length, length times width or base times height, either one. And how do you find area of a triangle? Base times height divided by 2. Okay, so I'm just writing down the game plan. I'm writing down all my formulas, and now I'm going to start. So let's start with our circle. I need to know what the radius of my circle is. Does anybody know what that radius is? 3. If this whole piece is 6, from here to here is 6, then the radius would be 3. Everybody okay with that? So I'm going to take 1 half of pi times 3 squared. I'm going to let us do nothing but decimals today. Let's just go ahead and put that in our calculator. So I'm going to go ahead. Do you want to just do 0.5 or do you want to divide by 2 at the end? What makes you happy? Divide by 2? Okay, so I'm going to take pi times my 3 squared. And then once I get that answer, I'm going to go divide by 2. And let's just go ahead and round to the, the nearest hundredths today. If I rounded to the nearest hundredths, what would you tell me? 14.14. Okay, so 14.14. So I'm not going to make you do anything other than just decimals today because it's going to get a little ugly. Okay, now the rectangle. If I want to find the area of the rectangle, I'm going to take the length of the rectangle times the width. So I would be multiplying what times what? 19 times 6. Okay, let's go ahead and take 19 times 6 and get that answer. What do you get if you take 19 times 6? 114. Okay, and now I need to work on my triangle. So this little triangle, I'm going to blow him up off to the side. Shoop, shoop, shoop. What did you say? Maybe. How long is every side of this triangle? Six. What kind of triangle is it if all the sides are the same? It's an equilateral. If all the sides are the same length, all these angles are the same measure. If all these angles are the same, what are all the angles? 60. So that's 60, 60, and 60. So I'm going to end up drawing down this altitude so I can figure out the height of my triangle. If this is a 60 and that's a 90, what's this one? 30. Okay. And then I also know something else. I know if this whole length here is a 6, what is just this length right here? Okay, so now let's start our labels. What do we label across from the 30? X. And because I have a 3 there, I'm going to put equals X. Okay, across from the 60? X square root of 3. And I don't even care across from the 90 because all I'm interested in is area. And area is base times height. Okay, so if x is 3, what would this height be? 3 square root of 3. Okay, so here we go. Down here, I'm going to go minus. You just told me my base. Oh, no, you didn't tell me my base. How long is my base? My base is 6. And you just told me the height. What did we say? 3 square root of 3. And then I'm going to end up dividing that by 2. Okay, see if you can give me an answer for just that back part. And let's round it to the nearest hundredths. Okay, just hang on to it. Let everybody take a second in the calculator just to practice our calculator skills. And let's round to the nearest hundredth today just to be a little more accurate. And what do you get? 15.59. Other people agree? Yeah. Okay. So when I put it in my calculator, I know it's kind of hard to see because of the bubble. I went ahead and I just figured out 6 divided by 2 is 3. And so I took 3 times 3 square root of 3. But if I would have taken 6 times 3 square root of 3, got that answer, and then divided by 2, I'd still get the same thing. So did almost everybody get 15.59? Okay. So... That we're subtracting, so we're subtracting the minus 15.59. Okay, throw that all in your calculator and tell me what you get. <coughs> Everybody agree? 112.55? Yeah. What's wrong? What? Are we going too fast? No, I was just trying to type it all in. Oh, I got you. Okay, looking at this next picture, 
I want to find the area of the shaded region. Anybody know what the game plan would be? What are we going to do? We'll subtract at the end. So what do you think I'd start off finding first? Okay, so I'm going to find the area of the circle first. And if I find the area of the entire circle, everybody agree that's too much shading? So then I'm going to need to subtract. And what am I going to subtract? Mm -hmm. The area of a trapezoid. Good. That is exactly what our game plan is. Okay, just because I want to make sure that we know our formulas, this next step I'm just going to write formulas down. What's our formula for area of a circle? Pi R squared. Pi R squared. And this is a full circle, so I don't have to do half this time. Minus, what's our formula for area of a trapezoid? Uh, base, 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 uh, times height divided by 2. There we go. Yeah. We add the bases, we times by the height, and we divide by 2. Okay, so there are our formulas, and now I'm just going to plug everything in. So, this is me showing work. This is what I would love to see from everybody. When you find the area of this circle, what's the radius? Seven. Mm -hmm. Seven is the distance from the center to an edge, so seven is the radius. Let's go ahead, just put that right there in your calculator. Seven squared. It's 49. Yeah, but go ahead and give me a decimal. So we're going to do nothing but decimals today, and let's round to the nearest hundredth. 153.94. I forget okay. where, where's pi in the bottom, just second. Second, and then that carrot button. So it's 153.94. Yeah. Okay, so next I want to work on my trapezoid. And I will be subtracting that. Okay, so looking at the trapezoid, I need to figure out the height. I don't see that right now. And um, let's talk about the bases for a second. How long is this base right there? Eight. Eight. How long is that base? Fourteen. Fourteen, right? If seven is the distance from the center to the edge, then that must be seven also. So I know from here to here is seven. Okay, so my... Okay, so you see it now? So my bases are 14 plus 8, and I will end up dividing by 2 here in a second. Right now I just need to work on my height. So I need to know a few things here. Why do you think 4? Okay, if I did this little thing right here. If this piece right here is 8, what do you think this piece right here is? 8. And how long is it all the way across? 14. If it's all the way across is 14 and this chunk makes up 8, what must this piece and this piece add to be? Okay, well, they have to add to be 6, right? And if they're both the same, then they would both be 3. three. Everybody see where my 3 came from? Okay, so then that is a 3, that is a 3 over there, and then Autumn said that that's a 4. Do you agree? This is our 3, 4, 5 triangle, so there it is. That's the height of our trapezoid, so our height is 4. Okay, so now let's work on the trapezoid. So take a second and figure out what you get for just that part right there. Is everybody getting 44? Yes. Okay, and then what do you get if you subtract? 109.94. Okay. How are you feeling about this? You okay? Fantabulous? Okay, we're going to number five. Number five. Wait, why didn't you add the I didn't. Oh, you are. I thought that's a 190 for a second. Okay, let's go to number five. Looking at number five, what do you think our game plan would be? Game plan. Find the circle. Find the area of the rectangle, and then... Area of two circles. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to find the area of the rectangle, and we're going to subtract the area of two of our circles. So, two area of circle. Area of circle, okay. Okay, next I want to just do formulas. So, what's your formula for area of a rectangle? Um, area of a rectangle. Mm -hmm. you guys are so fast. Length times width, or base times height, minus two, because we have two circles. What's our formula for area of a circle? Pi R squared. Okay, so let's let's just talk about the circle for a second. Does anybody know what the radius of the circle is? Five. Mm -hmm. I know it's ten all the way from here to here, and so that means that the radius would be a five. Okay, so I'm going to go minus two times pi times five squared. See if you can calculate just that. 
Just the circle part. Yeah, I can do that for you. And let's um, go ahead and round to the nearest hundredths again. Yeah, 157.1. 157, well, yes, if I ran it to the hundredths, I just wanted to practice something different today. If I ran it to the hundredths, it would be 0 0.08. Yeah. Does anybody need me to put that in the calculator form? No. Okay, so now I need to talk about the area of the... Craig! Hi! When did you come? Okay. If I wanted to find the area of the rectangle, <coughs> do you know what the length and the width are? 10 and then this is 20. Does everybody know why this is 20? Okay, because I know that the diameter is 10, right? So that would be a 10, 10. and that would be a 10. So all the way across is 20. So, so 20, 20 times 10. 20 times 10 equals 200. Okay, now subtract. 200 minus 157.08. 42.92. There we go. 42.92. Okay, number six. This takes us to um, what, we were, what we've been working on the last few days. So, what would our overall game plan be? Area of circle. Is that going to be too much? Yeah. If I find the area of the entire circle, that's too much. So, then what would I want to do? Mm -hmm. I'm going to subtract the area of that hexagon. Okay, so let's talk about area of a circle. What's the formula? Pi r squared. Okay, and then this whole week we've been talking about area of regular polygons. Does anybody remember that formula for area of a regular polygon? Half AP. Half of the apothem times the perimeter. Okay, let's start with the circle. What's the radius of the circle? Six. six so that's going to be pi times six squared. Okay, go ahead and round that to the nearest hundredths for me. Hmm. What would that be? <coughs> Mm -hmm. 113.1, 113.10 or 0.1, I'll just go ahead and put 0.10, but 113.1 or 113.10. Okay, so now I need to subtract the area of my um, hexagon, and so I'm going to be doing what we've been doing. I'm going to draw down this triangle, and I know that's a 90 degree angle. First I need to figure out what all those central angles are. So I would take 360 and divide by what? Six, because a hexagon has six sides. What does that make? 60. So if all the central angles are 60, what's just this one right here? 30. It's always half of whatever your central angle is. And then I know if that's 30, that one's 60. Okay, so now we're going to do our labels for the 30, 60, 90. What do we label across from the 30? X. X. What do we label across from the 60? X square root of 3. And across from the 90? Equals 2x. Good, equals 2x, since we have a number there. Okay, I want to solve for x because I don't know it. If I solve this equation right here for x, what would I get? Three. I would get x is 3. Okay, if I know x is 3, then I know from here to here it's 3. And what would my apothem be? 3 squared root of 3. Okay. And then I know the apothem, I need to know the perimeter. So if this little piece is 3, what's this little piece right here? 3. So what's every side of this hexagon? 6. So if every side of the hexagon is 6, what would the perimeter of the hexagon be? 36. Okay, so now I know everything I need to know to find the area of my hexagon. So I take 1 half times the apothem. What do we find the apothem to be? 3 square root of 3 times the perimeter. What do we find the perimeter to be? Okay, take a second and go ahead and figure that out rounded to the nearest hundredth. Is that what everybody got? 93.53? Do I need to explain like how I put it in? Okay, so 93.53. So minus 93.53. And what do we get if we subtract the 113.10 minus the 93.50? Oh, 
I put 54, but it was 53. I'm sorry. 19.57. Okay, 19.57. Sorry about that. So 19.57. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to see if we can do two more. And then tonight would be the, the video over the problems that I'm skipping. And like I said, it's only 12 minutes and 30 seconds, so it shouldn't take up. It's not me. It's Miss Starks again. It's the it's the lady from before. Okay, number 10. I could do this a couple of ways. I could split this up into two different rectangles, find those areas and add them. Or I could find the area of this giant rectangle right here and subtract the missing piece. What do you want to do? The two. Yeah. The two? How many people want to do two? Let's do it all. How many people want to do it all and subtract? I say two. The main Only what? Two. two people, three people raised their hand. I say two. Four. Four. How many people want to split it up into two rectangles? Four. Raise your hand. Everybody raise your hand. How many people want to find the whole thing and subtract? Okay, I saw more of that. Let's do that. Let's find the whole kit and caboodle and subtract the guy that's not there. So, yes, the whole kit and caboodle. So I'm going to find the area of the big rectangle, and then I'm going to subtract the area of the small rectangle. Okay, so how do you find area of a rectangle? So I'll take length times width, and I'll subtract length times width. Okay, in this one we're going to leave these in terms of whatever our variables are. So. If I were to take length times width for the big rectangle, what would that be? C times B, which I would write as BC. Typically when our letters are multiplied, we put them alphabetical. Okay, then I'm going to subtract the area of this little one that's not actually there. What would you get if you took length times width? EF. E times F is EF, and that's our answer. Boop, 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 boop. Done. It doesn't get any better than that. It's fun, right? Smiley face. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, next one. I want to find the shaded area. Can you tell what's shaded on yours? Okay, I believe all of, all of that is shaded, so I want to find the area of the shaded. What do you think the game plan would be? Mm -hmm. I'm going to find the area of the triangle, and then I'm going to find the area of the circle, and I will subtract the circle from the triangle. Okay, let's lay down formulas. How do you find area of a triangle? Base times height divided by 2. How do you find area of a circle? Pi r, squared. Pi r squared. Okay, so let's look at our triangle. Do we know what the base and the height are for our triangle? X and, y. X, and X. X. So it would be X times X divided by 2. I'm going to actually clean that up a little bit here in a minute. And then what do we know the radius of the circle is? Mm -hmm. The radius is y, so pi times y squared. Okay, the only thing I want to do is just clean this up. What is x times x? <coughs> x squared. So it's x squared over 2 minus pi y squared. And that's how we'll leave it. Choop, 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 choop. And that's it. Okay, so tonight you're going to watch the video over the problems I skipped. 12 minutes, 30 seconds, and then tomorrow we can practice. Have a fantabulous day! <laughs> What, hun? Hmm, a party. So you should think some people are going to school tomorrow. Yes, so I've heard, Miss Skipper. I, I told Leela 